This video is brought to you by Major Surplus and Survival, California's premier store for outdoor products for recreation and survival. Hey everybody, it's Billy Bombproof. I'm stuck in one of them darn forest things, trees, where you can't figure out which way to go, left or right. I don't think I can ever get out here unless I... Oh crap, I just gotta stand up. Who's that? <laughs> And I escape. Ha 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 ha! Hey everybody! My name's Billy Bombproof, and I'm here to tell you about the new Billy Bombproof channel. If you gonna get you an Atlas Survival Shelter, you gotta put some stuff in it. So if you're into knives, stoves, bows, guns, axes, backpacks, tents, anything survival related you're gonna want to watch my new channel to learn about the product and get a laugh or two so tune in to billy bomb proof and we'll see you there hey guys this is ron from atlas survival shelters welcome back to another episode of billy bomb proof i'm not gonna really cover anything in particular today but i need to put a video up because it's been a couple weeks but i've been sick as you can kind of tell but i want to talk about my cache room today and how much crap is keeps coming in. I say crap, it's not really crap, it's good shit. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, just like even today, I was out sick yesterday, so I come in here, I was got I get any boxes, they go, yeah, you got all kinds of boxes. Now this is funny. Every time I click on one of my commercials, this little advertisement plays right here. Have you guys noticed every time you click on one of my videos, this damn commercial is playing. As a matter of fact, it's playing on every damn video on YouTube right now. These guys are spending a fortune on this thing. So you know what? I'm going to buy one and I'm going to see what the hell it is. So that's this implant, implant tool right here. Implant tool. So that's this crazy freaking thing right here. And I'm like, you know what? I mean, these guys are spending a fortune advertising this crazy little tool right here. So, you know, I am a fab shop and I do build things. And, you know, I just went ahead and bought one. It was 20 bucks. And I mean, they're spending a fortune on pay-per-click advertising on the internet. And I'm like, I gotta see what the hell this thing does, you know? I mean, for laying out stairs and stuff like that, maybe it could be good. I don't know, but, um, you know, I went ahead and bought one just because, frick, I just want to see what the hell it was. So I guess, you know, if you're doing tile work or whatever, you know, this thing would be great, but so much for that shit. Okay. So anyway, <clears throat> so I've gotten into slingshots. I love slingshots. I got in a bunch of these little clay targets today from, uh, I guess it's called Cody, I don't know. I bought all this on Amazon.com. I got that in today. Let's see what else I got. This is almost really, this episode is gonna be about show and tell. I got in another survival knife. And you know, the thing about me guys is when I open something, I haven't studied it first. I mean, when you see me open it, that's the first time I've ever seen it. So don't expect me to be some Einstein genius on all these damn things. I mean. When you're seeing my reactions, that's my first reaction. But I got this off of YouTube. And the reason I got it was only like 10 bucks. And I have a, I have this major hard on for things that have storage in the handle, okay? Now this one here, it has a little storage thing in there, okay? But you know, I think I got this for like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something like that. So, I always look for things that are very inexpensive that I can review and test. So this came in, boy, that's a long, that's a, must be a 10 inch blade right there. I wonder how sharp it is. Here, I got my little wood sticks here. Let's see what it will do. And it cuts. It's nothing great, but you know what? Christmas is coming. It's got a serrated edge. You guys ever wonder what a serrated edge would do? It doesn't do much. <laughs> That's what it does. It's better probably for fist scaling than anything. 
but I got another survival knife in and I'll do a more extensive review on it. But um, so that came in. I also got another one of these Maxim survival knives. Now I did a review on this one and it did really good. And I paid $19.95 for it. And I found this one for $10.75. And it has the storage thing as well. Um, I just think that's so cool. You know, I guess I'm a big kid, but look at that. It's got the little storage thing. And this one was only $10 and 75 cents. I'm going to suggest that everyone that watches this, if you got any kids or if you are a kid yourself, just start buying some of these stupid things. They're just fun. You know, what's cool about this one too. It's half the price of the other one. It's got a second blade, which you could use for like a harpoon. And it's got the thing for the slingshot. So this little thing right here that pops up here, that's for a slingshot, so you can go like that. Now, I'm sure it's a shitty as hell slingshot, but you know what? For $10.75 delivered on Amazon, I don't care. Uh, this thing is great, and I like this stuff. You know, I think I've told y'all once, I just don't think I got enough gifts when I was a kid because every day is like Christmas for me now. I come in, and it's like, and I don't spend a lot. I spend maybe you know, 20 to $50 a day on Amazon Prime. Sometimes I'll spend 200, but don't tell my secretary, okay? But um, but I come in and I got all kinds of cool stuff. I even got this crazy looking knife came in today. You know, what's it good for? Hell, I don't know. But I saw on a YouTube commercial where it feathers real good and you can make feathery material by going down a, a branch on this corner. See, it's got a little corner edge right there. And, uh, it was doing a good job making feathery material for starting a fire. This one just needs to be sharpened, but it's a pretty crappy knife. I paid like 10 bucks for it. But I got this leather sheet then. It's a nice leather sheet. It's got a little fire starter in it. It's got a place for a, 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 a sharpening stone. See that? But it fits this knife, and it's like, $40 for the sheath and $10 for the knife. What's wrong with this picture here? But uh, that goes right in there. That goes right in there. <clears throat> and then you can wear it on your belt back here, like that. So it looks pretty cool, huh? So I bought that. What else did I get? Got me a headlamp set, huh? How cool is that? Word in my head. Got these little light bulbs too. These are like little camping light bulbs. <clears throat> and the point of uh, the point of this video is it has no point. But I just like to buy little things. And uh, this is for hanging up. It's got a little D ring in it, or like a carabiner. And uh, just for hanging up. And you put a single single double-A uh, battery in there. You pop it in. And uh, you got a hanging up light bulb, I guess. And you got like three of these for 10 bucks, you know. What else did I get? I got another knife here, even. <laughs> this is stupid. This is just waste of money. This was $10. This is a zombie killing knife. I bought it just because I can and because I have a computer and I have no life. See how sharp this one is. And it's doing pretty good actually. So it's got a little notch right there. So when you have a, a uh, like a twig about one inch diameter or branch, you can go, you can feather it. It makes a bunch of feathering material for starting a fire. But uh, it's one of them stupid ass zombie killer knives. You see that? <laughs> I mean, there's so much crap on Amazon. It's ridiculous. And I guess when there's fools like me that will buy it, what the heck? But anyway, I'll show you around my little cache room as of today. Today's like December 5th, 2018. But this entire shelf right here, this is nothing but my saws. I've got saws from Silky Samurais. I've got hatchets. 
I put all this on one shelf here. Up here, I have a big silky saw, and I've got some uh, survival bows. This entire shelf right here is nothing but um, water purification systems. And I tell you what, this is going to be better than gold shit ever hits the fan. Um, the fact that I'll be able to purify water. So everything in here is a water purification system. Then down here, I've got the uh, my stoves, all my camping stoves. I've got rocket stoves, little mini stoves, um, fold-up stoves. I mean, I got every type of stove you can think of. And I still have to review all these individually. So I'm just kind of give you a pretense of what's coming because after I review it, most of it I'll give away to you guys. Okay, down here is what I call my freaking shit. I've got like solar batteries, solar chargers for batteries. I got little mini fishing poles. I got crank radios for like, uh, and it's got a light and everything, so I got a crank radio. I got little secret places where you can hide stuff in. Got a whole collection of these. This is like a Pringles potato chip can that you can hide stuff in your house. So if uh, you can hide your weed in there, if, if you're in a state that's not legal. <coughs> can can and then on the bottom shelf, I really don't have much now. Then over here, I've got my nuclear survival gear down here on this bottom rack. I've got a bunch of these survival cans on the second rack here, which I've covered some of these. Um, all my knives are in here. In the, I've got anything from good knives, like the MSK one from uh, David at Ultimate Survival Tips. This is a great knife. That's a $300 knife right there, though. And then I've got a Topps knife here. This is a, oh, this, yeah, this is from Topps. Topps makes great knives, by the way. That's a, about a two, three hundred dollar knife right there. Look at that sheath on that thing; it's beautiful. But I got a ton of knives in here, and here I've got all my machetes. And uh, I always get machetes with the serrated backs. And most of the serrated backs, like this one here, they're not worth a flip. You think they would cut through something, but they don't. But I got like ten or twelve machetes. This is my survival food. So I got wise food. I've got Legacy, I've got Hardy, I like Mountain House. There's a few brands, but I'm gonna be doing tests on all the foods. Up here, I've got my tutu, okay? So if I ever gotta like really freak some zombies out, I can put on my tutu, okay? Um, and that's true, yes. I, I like to do episodes wearing my tutu. And, um, and then I've got uh, some wigs up there and stuff. I know y'all are probably laughing, what the fuck are you talking about using a tutu? I don't know, you know, I just thought, look, I was gonna do a video with this badass green beret guy, and so I bought a tutu, and I was gonna make him wear the tutu in the video, but he never, we never did the video, but that's what the tutu was for. <laughs> and he was like this rugged guy, he's like killed all these people and everything. And then over here, I've got, um, my stoves, I mean, not my stoves, but I got my uh, my shovels. I've got body wear hair and body armor. I've got crossbows and sling bows, and then I've got tents. So in conclusion here, this video today was really about nothing except uh, my cache room and all the crap that's coming in and just kind of let you guys know what's going on and what's coming up. So in the comments below, uh, tell me what you want me to cover first because if I'm going to give a lot of it away. But listen, guys, I need subscribers. So if you would share my channel to your friends, you'd do me, be doing me a big favor because I can't afford to keep doing the channel and giving stuff away because you don't make money doing YouTube. Unless you got like 10 million subscribers, you, you don't make money. So every time I make one of these videos, it costs me about 200 bucks. So I lose money doing it. But I kind of like showing off the stuff I got. So, you know, to me, it's like doing show and tell. But anyway, thanks for watching this boring ass episode. And I'll see you next time. And we'll really go into detail on one of these products. Okay. See you next time. Hey, everybody. It's Billy Bombproof here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Share, like, and subscribe, and the first 10,000 subscribers get a free Ready Man Survival Card. Guys, to get your free survival card, just go to BillyBombProof.com, fill out the information, and we'll send you your free survival card from Ready Man Products.